Howdy campers, welcome to your 17th Django tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can upload media to our articles. Alright then, so now we're successfully displaying our single articles on the browser. What I'd like to do is show you how we can upload media when we're creating an article, for example having it as an extra field here, we can upload some kind of thumbnail or image which we can then show on this article detail page. So how do we set that up in Django? Well, there's a few steps to go through, but fortunately it's all pretty simple. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the settings inside Django Nautic right here. And right at the bottom where we added a couple of lines for static files down here, we're also going to add a couple of lines for uploading media. So we need to specify two properties right here the media URL, which is like the static URL, and it says, okay, well, at what address do you want to find the media? For example, if I go to localhost 8000 forward slash media, that is where I'd like to be able to find the media. Okay, so for example, pic.jpg. Okay, so we need to specify that first of all. So we'll say media underscore URL and set that equal to a string forward slash media forward slash and again this can be anything that you like you can call this pics if you want or something else I'm gonna call it media alright so now we've done that we need to specify one more property and that is the media underscore root and the media root is going to be the folder where Django uploads images to when we upload an image over here in the blog creation screen or the article creation screen where is Django going to upload it to so we need to specify a folder right here. So that is going to be equal to, first of all, os.path.join. Remember, this method right here will join two parts of a path together for us. And the first part is the base underscore directory. Now that gets the base directory right here of the whole project, so this Django Nautic folder. Then we want to append to that a media folder right here. So this will create a media folder inside this base folder right here. So now when we upload something, it's going to upload it to this folder right here. And when we go to receive that, Django knows where all that media is stored. So that's those two properties sorted out in the settings file. The next step is to head over to the urls.py file. And remember we did this URL pattern for the static files. We told Django to serve those up. We have to do a similar thing for media files, only it's a little bit different. So the way we do this is by, again, appending a URL pattern to this thing right here. So we say URL patterns and set that plus equal. So append to static. And remember, we're importing static up here. No, we're not. So let's import that. So we'll say from Django dot config or conf rather dot urls dot static import static so this thing right here is going to allow us to say okay where the media url is and where the document root is and it's going to allow django to serve up these media files so we say static down here it's a method and it takes two parameters first of all is going to be the media url so we can get that from the settings file. And again, we're going to have to import that so we can use it. So we'll say from django.conf import settings. And by settings, it's just pretty much everything that we define in the settings file. So right down here, we define these two things. So by importing the settings over here, it means we have access to those, uh, those two properties we just created. And we're going to need them here. So we'll say settings which we just imported dot media underscore URL. So that's the first parameter, the media URL. Where do you want to find these uh, media files when you type it into a browser? So we specified that already in settings right here. And we're just passing it to this static method to tell Django right here how to serve them. And the second parameter is going to be the document underscore root, which is equal to settings dot media oops, dot media underscore root, which is the second thing we specified right here. Where are those files stored? Where can I find them? 
So now Django knows that it's going to set up a URL pattern for us so it can serve those media files to us when we type them into the browser in the URL bar up here or if we request them from a template. OK, so that's kind of like the setting up phase, if you like. The next thing we want to do is actually on our model for an article right here. We want to add in a field for a thumbnail. So far, we have these four fields and we show three of them here. The date is automatically generated. We want a fourth field to be the thumbnail. So let's create that. So this field is going to be called thumb. Thumb is equal to models. And then we're going to use a field called an image field. That's what we want to upload. So image field. And again, remember, you can find all of these different field types on the Django documentation. The link is going to be down below for that. And inside here, I'm going to specify a couple of parameters. So first of all, I'm going to specify a default image. So if a user doesn't select an image or if for whatever reason uh, an image is not applied to an article, then we're going to give it a default image. And this is going to be called default.png. And what we'll do is manually place this image inside the media folder later on so that if an article doesn't have an image, it's going to find this default.png image and show that instead. So the second parameter I want to pass in here is blank is equal to true, which just means basically this can be a blank field. It doesn't have to be um, filled with something. So now we have those two uh, parameters right here. What we'd like to do is make a migrations file. Remember, every time we make a change to a model, we have to migrate that change. So to do that, we need to open up our terminal. And inside, we say python manage.py. Then it's make migrations. So that is going to make the migration file. OK, we have an error. Setting is not defined. And that should be in the URLs over here, not this one. The ones down here and settings, settings. There we go. All right, so let's try this once more. So same command. And you'll notice that we actually get another error. And it's saying that we can't use this image field because pillow is not installed. So basically we have to install another package in order to use image fields in our project. But this is dead simple. It says how to install it right here. So we can just say pip install pillow like so. And that will install it for us. All right then. So now that's installed. Hopefully third time lucky. Python manage.py make migrations. And this time it's made that migrations file for us. Now we have that. We can migrate it to the database. So we'll say python manage.py migrate. And then Oops, I've spelt this in a really weird way. Manage.py migrate. And now we've migrated that to the database. Awesome. So then if we scoot this down and view this in a browser now over here, if I want to go back to articles, then first of all, what we'll need to do is run the server. So we'll say Python manage.py. And I keep spelling this incorrectly. Manage.py run server. Now we should be able to go to the admin section and add in a new article. Now we can see this fourth field right here for a thumbnail. So let's make up another article. We'll just call this test2. I'm so original. And test2 will be the URL body. This is a test for thumbnails and then let's upload a file. So I'm going to choose this number one right here and save. And now we have test two right here that's saved. So hopefully if we go back to the articles page, we see test two. And if we go in here, we don't see a thumbnail just yet. But if we expand this folder, now we see this media folder right here. And this one.png is in there. The reason it doesn't show over here is obviously because we're not showing it in the template. But what we can do now is access that thumbnail property on the article and then output it in the template. So let's output an image right here. We'll say image source is equal to 
and then inside the string we'll say double curly braces because we're going to output some data article dot thumb and then whenever we use an image field on the model we have access to the dot url property so that's going to grab the url of this thumbnail based on where it is in the tree over here so it's in the media folder and it's going to output that to the browser for us which is pretty awesome so if we save this now and refresh over here then hopefully yep now we get that thumbnail well it's not a thumbnail it's a whole banner on this article detail page so let's go back and try adding some to the other ones we'll say django right here number two save that and let's go to another one django rules we'll say number three save that and also remember we said that the default one is going to be default.png so you can see that that's what it's automatically applied it to it's applied this current default.png to this article where we've not specified our own thumbnail so let's leave that one as is and check that out again in a second for now let's go to Django Nautic and try Django Nautic opening now we get this image uh, Django rules we get this image so this one right here ah uh, hello world that is the one which shows default.png now obviously that doesn't exist at the minute but all we need to do is dump a default.png file inside this media folder and then it will appear on the page so let's do that so right here I've got the images default.png let's place that in there and if I refresh over here we should now see that default image as well awesome so there we go my friends that is how we can configure Django to allow us to upload media and serve the media and how we can show it on a web page.